Hello one and all and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is again in a different style to what I've posted in the past. We like to experiment on this channel and I hope that you'll bear with me and then next week we will return back to our regular scheduling of how to write poetry videos. After reading, reviewing, and just totally being blown away by Lana Del Rey's collection, and then being asked to review a Jim Morrison collection in the comments section of that video, it got me thinking. That was a lot of shins. That was a lot of shins. It's been quiet all morning. It's now midday. It's been quiet all morning whilst I write the script to this, and now I click record. Someone decides to mow their grass. So if you can hear a load of motors in the background, I'm very sorry. Anyway, so after reviewing that collection and reading that comment, it got me thinking, what other musicians would I absolutely love to read a poetry collection from? And thus was born this video, my friends. I think musicians, at least ones that write their own songs, would make great poets. It's a natural connection. And I've compiled a list of five musicians that I think would absolutely boss the poetry world, or at least I really hope that they would. So number one, Tom Waits. Now I know that there are Tom Waits poems out there, which is why I'm starting here. I know that he is a poet, but as far as I am aware, there isn't a collection of poems, but I could be wrong, so if I am, please let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, I find Tom Waits absolutely fascinating and I first discovered him and fell in love with him having watched a documentary about him. I know that he's a fan of the Beats, and Bukowski, like me, and his work is some of the most fascinating stuff I've ever had the pleasure of discovering. And I can only imagine how good a collection of poetry from him would really be. So number two. Do. Number two, Keith Richards. Similar to Tom Waits, Keith Richards has traveled and seen some things. And he's also an incredible artist and takes his work very seriously. Having read his autobiography, I know that he would write a poetry collection with real conviction and wouldn't just release a poetry collection because his label told him to release a poetry collection. At least if he's writing in his autobiography, about his solo work is anything to go by anyway. Whether or not he would be interested in writing a poetry collection, probably not. But if he did, I would be first in line to buy it. En de toi, number three, Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler is an absolute artist through and through, and like me, loves being outside in nature and sees things within it that most people don't. I actually saw a documentary about Stephen Tyler in Oprah Winfrey's next chapter and it gave a great insight into the workings of Aerosmith's lead man. I've also read his autobiography and can only imagine the kind of stuff that would come from this guy. Again, I don't know if a collection from Stephen Tyler is on the table, but being the artist that he is and having wrote some beautiful songs, I don't want to miss a thing anyone. I feel like this is probably the more probable on this list. Did that make sense? Probably not. Before we finish up this list, please do take a moment to hit the like button uh, and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications which is the little bell button if you want to know exactly when I post. I also have poetry collections of my own which is behind me here. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah. I also have some cool new merch like t-shirts, jumpers, posters and all that good stuff if you want to help support me and my work. Of course failing that and if none of it interests you uh, I have set up a PayPal tip jar which will be linked down below in either a pinned comment, description or maybe even both. Thank you so much for being here with me and supporting me. I can't wait to grow the channel with you. I've got some very cool ideas for the future. Number four, Demi Lovato. Now, I don't know too much about Demi's music, uh, just 
All I know is from watching Disney Channel in school and watching her in Camp Rock, but I do know that she has seen the dark side of life. All great poets have, and I feel like with her songwriting background and her life experiences, it would make for a fascinating read. Before I reveal the number one musician that I would love to read a poetry collection from, I feel like these kind of videos have uh, always seem to have a honourable mention section as tradition, so here are my three honourable mentions. Honourable mention number one, Bob Dylan. Now, of course, he won his Nobel Prize, uh, and many people consider his songs as poetry, which is why he makes the honourable mention list. Now, I know that you can get books of his lyrics, which some will consider a poetry collection, so make of that what you will, but nevertheless, the man is a great Honourable mention number two, Eminem. In my eyes, the greatest wordsmith alive today, and for many years prior to his birth, and probably for many years to come. This guy can spin a rhyme out of anything and is just awe-inspiring. Whether or not he would sit down and write a book of poems, I'm not so sure, but if he did, oh man, would I buy it. Now this one's a bit of a wild card, uh, but the last honourable mention, mention would be Jesse Nelson. Now you see why I got my words mixed up. I don't know why I always do that. I recently watched a documentary that Jesse Nelson released and it actually took my breath away. Much like Demi Lovato, Jesse Nelson has seen a dark side to life which has left its emotional scars and if she were to write a poetry collection on that I would be very interested to take a read. Okay, so the final fifth musician, the number one spot. I've completely done this wrong, just realised I've counted up when I should have counted down, but the number one musician that I want to read a poetry collection from is Mr. Harry Styles. I'm not gonna lie, I went on a huge Harry Styles binge when he released his new album. He's got his own separate vibe going on, which is somewhere between throwback and uh, modern artist. I know that he is a fan of poetry and reads poetry and again like me is a fan of Charles Bukowski so I feel like again same with Steven Tyler a poetry collection could be on the table one of these days with Mr Harry Styles. He did take his solo career very seriously uh, we both have very similar tastes in music and literature and I feel he would take writing a poetry collection very seriously. Also, his songwriting is very beautiful too. Just take a listen to his song Falling. So that's it. Five musicians that I would love to read a poetry collection from. I hear him, ah. I know that this has been a totally different video from what I usually post, but as we grow, I want to keep content fresh for you all. Let me know in the comments down below who would make your list of musicians you'd want a poetry collection from. Don't forget to like subscribe, turn on notifications, all of that, and until next week, my friends, happy writing.